What's up guys, Dusty here with Dusty Fish Co. I am back in Pensacola, Florida, back at the house. This is a second video to my South Florida video where I went down to Crystal River to fish the famous backwaters of Crystal River in Homosassa Springs. So what I'm doing in this video is a very unique catch clean cook. In that video, had a good haul, here it is. And the unique catch clean cook is coming from this bad boy right here. I am going to try Remora for the first time. See how it turns out. Looking forward to it. Something different. Hopefully it uh, goes better than some of my other experiments. I've seen some good reviews online saying it's a pretty decent meat. So we're going to find out. Let's get into it. Miralura Lil John. And well, <laughs> you see for yourself. I mean, it is a, uh, it has changed the day for me. So talk about timing on that one, huh? I know, dude. You've had six casts and like four fish with it. <laughs> Giant Remora. Yep. They fight, man. Come here. We want one of them to be a Cobia. <laughs> right. They fight pretty good, don't they? Yeah, they're fun. He's bigger than the last one. You're lucky I'm not in the mood for a catch clean cook today. You want to take them home and try them? I thought about it. Huh? I thought about it. You should just try it, man. There's no reason not to. I don't, there's no limit at all on Remora. So. All right, guys, so I'm going to take this Remora home and uh, go on an adventure with it. So this will be another fish that Kevin from Salty Bottom Outdoors won't eat and he'll give me hell over. But we're going for it. Ugh. All right, y'all, so I knocked out the trout. I knocked out the Spanish because the Spanish is what we're having for dinner tonight. I got still, still got to clean the redfish, but as you can see over my shoulders, the sounds and sights of Florida are rumbling and there's a storm coming in. So for the catch and cook that we're doing in this video. This is a remora. It's a decent sized remora. Caught it down in Crystal River. Figured what the heck. I've tried jacks. I've tried bluefish. I've tried, oh, what was the other weird one? Uh, bonita, I did bonita. I was like, you know what? I gotta try remora. I don't catch them very often. I figured it was worth a shot. Let's fillet this thing, see what the meat looks like. I think you just do it like, you just do it like any other fish. I mean, down to the spine and then, oh, it feels weird. Huh? Coming right off. Oh, well, actually, besides the green poo covered interior, the fillet don't look bad. Probably lost a couple of y'all at green poo flavored interior, but. All right, that's one fillet. Let's get the other side off of here. It's actually really weird filleting this guy. And fillet number two. There is a filleted remora. So a lot of the feedback I've heard online, you know, it's got a pretty meat to it. It's everyone says it's a good firm meat, but everyone complains of a soapy flavor, which I was told the same thing about snook and it ended up being one of my favorite fish of all time. So I'm kind of curious to see how this turns out. I should have saved that carcass from the crab traps, but I already tossed it in the woods. So right here in the middle, it feels very similar to the middle of a Spanish mackerel. Uh, I don't know if those are ligaments or bones. I am going to trim around them just for the taste test here. If I like it and I end up doing another one, I'll dig in further and see if those just cook out. That way I don't lose as much meat or whatever. But I would say if you have to trim this middle part out, you don't have a ton of yield on these. Uh, as I was expecting, because you lose a lot when you trim that middle. I probably didn't, uh, I probably didn't fillet it the best either. Actually, I'm going to say, I am going to save that for my crab trap. And I left quite a bit of meat on the skin too. It was first time cleaning one. I'm going to save that for the crab trap. Yep. A lot of bones in them. A lot of bones from what it seems like. So they're very skinny fillets. And like I said, if you do have to trim this middle out, then you lose a lot of your yield off this. 
I didn't do a great job. I kind of rushed this one, but we've got remora to eat. The meat looks really good. It feels good. It doesn't smell weird at all. Let's check it out. So that was me cleaning the remora. I am calling an audible here mid video. Gonna mix things up a little bit. I'm gonna do a versus remora versus bluefish trash fish challenge. So I'm gonna get this bluefish. I did bleed this one. I caught two of them. Uh, this is the other one I caught right here. I did not bleed it, but I bled this one just in case I wanted to eat it. So I'm gonna get it cleaned up real quick. And here comes the rain. Oh. Oh, gotta love Florida. One. And two. I should have kept that carcass too late quite a bit of a bloodline on them actually i wasn't expecting that i don't think but it is what it is right I already said i'm gonna do it so here we are rib cage is out save those for the crab traps also uh, let's see if we can trim some of this blood out of here maybe it's just on the surface let's see It's starting to go away. I only need a little bit to try, so I'm going to put the rest with my crab trap bait. Eat just enough to taste test it against this remora. So, there we go. Two little pieces of bluefish there, no bones. Going to compare them to the remora. So, do a little side by side. The remora is the lighter meat. The bluefish is the dark remora. Bluefish, lighter meat, darker meat. Going to try them both. That's it for out here. I'm going to finish filleting these redfish real quick before this thunder and lightning gets too much closer. And I'll see y'all in the kitchen. All right, I am back in the kitchen. We just finished cooking an amazing dinner. Had blackened shrimp, fried uh, Spanish mackerel, and all the fixings. It was absolutely delicious. Now it's time for the comparison test. Got the bluefish. Got the remora. I seasoned them the exact same. Cayenne, black pepper, garlic powder, and a little bit of blackened seasoning. So they would be seasoned identically, and I'm gonna cook them the exact same way as well. Here's what they look like seasoned. Let's get them in the pan. Blue Runner. Remora. Pan. Let's go. Also, I just realized this is the first catch clean cook in the new house, so I'm really excited about that. I'm glad y'all are here for this. Make sure you smash that like and subscribe button down below. Let's get to cooking. Remora going in. Gorgeous. Bluefish. If I can get the other piece, there we go. Excellent. Okay, the bluefish is looking a little dark, but not bad. That could just be the seasoning. The remora, the remora is actually looking really good. They both actually look pretty good. All right, guys, gonna get these out of here, get over to the table and give them a try. This is the remora right here. These tongs are absolutely awesome. These fish tongs, get a pair. And this is the bluefish. We like said they are seasoned the exact same, cooked the exact same. Let's go. All right, y'all, right, let's dive in on this. I'm gonna try the bluefish first. Let's we'll see how it is. Kind of nervous. All right, the bluefish is actually really good. I was shocked. I actually thought that was gonna be the worst of the two. And so far it's a winner. Of course, I haven't uh, I haven't tried the remora. So let's give the remora a shot. 
I'm actually really nervous about this. The meat looks good. It's a good white meat. Can you see it on camera? It's a good white meat. The remora is good too. So a bunch of what I read online said that there was a weird soapy flavor with the remora. I'm not tasting it yet. I'm gonna try a little bit thicker piece. The remora is good. I'm gonna try the bluefish again. I'm trying to compare the two, right? So the bluefish is a little firmer. The remora is a little less fishy. The bluefish isn't overly fishy. In fact, the Spanish we just ate for dinner was fishier than the bluefish was. I did bleed the bluefish and I didn't bleed the Spanish. So the bluefish was bled, but it doesn't taste overly fishy. Honestly, both of these are fish that if I caught again, I would keep and eat. They are both delicious. They're plentiful. They're both unregulated. They're a great food source. If you are looking for a meat haul while you're out there, if you hook one of these, don't pass it up. I'm going to finish this. All right, y'all. Little change of opinion here at the end. Uh, I filmed the outro already to this. Took a few more bites of each. Got some opinions from some other people in the house. And I, do, I dove in one more time for one more round. The blue fish is pretty dang good. All around, it's a good fish. I would keep these. This was a much smaller one, as you'll see in the clip from where I caught it. If I catch bigger ones, I'm definitely going to bleed them out. I'm definitely going to keep them. The remora really does have... A soapy weird flavor to it as I got more to the middle to the thicker meat it started standing out very well so the clear winner here <clears throat> is definitely bluefish I can't say you couldn't eat both of these in a survival situation in any situation if you were just hungry I don't say you shouldn't go out and try either of them but to me the clear winner 100% hands down is the bluefish delicious I'm Dusty with Dusty Fish Co. I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed this, smash that like button for me. It means the world. It helps me out a ton. I greatly appreciate it. I'll see y'all on the next one. And right here at the top, I'll put the link to the video where I caught these fish so you can check that out as well. Thanks a lot. Y'all take care and I'll see you on the next one.